Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel. Now, this will be our last lesson for this chapter and also for this ZBrush series. So we are ending up our series, but whenever there will be any update, I will upload, upload that and I will up, uh, make an update uh, like video lesson. So don't worry about that one. But for this series right now we will be ending with this lesson now in 2021.612 the new brushes that were uh, introduced among them there were some snake curve brushes so we will demonstrate uh, i will demonstrate these brushes and see how it works so i have snake curve one snake curve two snake curve three and then snake curve five or like snake curve four snake curve five and snake curve three is missing so don't worry about that i will go to snake curve one okay and it works best with the sculptress pro and i will press ok and then here i will turn on the sculptress pro because it says it works best with sculptress pro so let's see so as you can see uh, here in this drawing of the brush there is a curve coming out of it so i will create a curve somewhere here then i will draw this curve outwards and uh, let's see how it's working so i'm just moving my mouse in a circular direction and it's creating a twisting effect there okay so i'm uh, i was just moving my mouse in a uh, like circular direction just like this and it created this sort of output so i'm just not moving if i move it in some direction so i will lose that part there okay let's see okay so if i move it, it will be like that if i move it down it will be like this okay and if i will move it here it will be like this so basically it's coming from the outer direction so it's playing its own algorithm okay it's twisting it the way it want it to twist or with the way you are moving it so you can create some interesting effects with this okay So nice one. So if we create something like here and then try, let's see. Okay, cool. So we can create a lot of creatures with this sort of an effect. Okay. Now let's see the snake curve uh, two. Okay. Now here I will create something like this and then try to move it. Now this is very simple. This is just moving in the straight direction. It's just extruding that and it's giving a cap like here like a bunny ear or some dog ears or something this will be good if you want to make ears okay let's make her look like a okay oops okay or Yeah, can you see like floppy ears, something like that? You have to be really careful. You don't have to go wild with it. So if I move it up or twist it, you can see I can create some interesting effects. Okay, you can have some make some devil horns. So I can make Hellboy, Hellboy sort of uh, horns there, or a different sort of a horn. So let's try other one. We have your snake curve four. Okay. Now here you can see it is like all random. So if I will draw here and move it. Okay. So it's clumping randomly. I'm not doing anything. I'm just moving straight. Even if I will move it around, it's not doing anything. I just have to move my mouse in whatever direction I'm moving. It's doing its own calculation. It's, it's doing its own stuff. I'm not the one who's controlling this. 
Okay. Cool. These these are good for concept art. Like suppose you know you got this sort of an effect. You can remove this part. Okay. What we can do here is here is this, that. Okay. Okay, and we can have this sort of thing. And we can delete uh, that part here, okay. You know, just like the way you uh, want that. Okay, so we can delete the hidden uh, geometry or whatever you want to, to do with this. Okay, so this is good. Let's go undo this and let's try the snake curve five. Now this one, I think it works with the noise. So it adds noise to it, but I'll add this one here and pull it out. Yeah, it comes with the noise. Okay. Yeah, so there is a lot of noise it produces with this one. This is also good. Okay. And maybe when you're uh, when you are done and you want to smooth it up. Okay. So or you can use small, strong smooth if you want. Okay. Okay, so what we can do is that Smooth, smooth, smooth. Where is the smooth? Okay. Here. And I want the strong smooth. Where is the strong? Yeah, smooth, stronger. Okay. Let's increase the size of this and uh, can smooth this out. Okay. So, yeah, something, this kind of stuff, you can create nice looking stuff out of this. So pretty cool stuff. You can work with this. Okay. And guys, one thing I just want to say is that thanks a lot for subscribing to my channel. You have given me a lot of support and I really uh, hope that you will support me continuously. So I have been, I have created, I'm, I'm working on a new uh, course, complete course, which will be a surprise. So stick uh, to my channel and just uh, click on the bell icon so you will get the notification as soon as i will upload the, like, the surprise video of my new course uh like series and also i'm introducing soon um three membership plans so uh, with a very low cost so you can join them but mostly my videos will be free but some premium tutorials i will be uploading and some uh early tutorials that you can binge watch all together so for that you can have these uh like privileges using my uh new uh plans my uh like uh membership plans so thanks a lot guys i hope you enjoyed all the whole series of the zbrush and Thanks a lot for joining this lesson. I'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and I hope to receive your support continuously. I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet. So please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents I will be uploading soon. Plus about the new course I will be uploading soon. You will get the notification about that too. I hope you will love that uh, and uh, I'm really excited and I just want to create uh, like a surprise element for you all. So I'm not telling you right now. So stick to my 
channel and watch the, uh, the video and if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions then leave them in comment section below and i will answer them as soon as possible and one request i have and that is i have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them so please if anyone is doing that or you find someone doing the same then please stop them because this will never help me to get my heart repaired off and it will demotivate me so i don't want to stop making tutorials for you all therefore help me to get new subscribers i will take off now guys uh take care and stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute